Hey, Lead Guitar Workshop. Today I want to talk about Roy Buchanan and three of my favorite techniques of his. Let's check it out. Hey, Lead Guitar Workshop. Today I want to talk about Roy Buchanan and three of my favorite techniques of his. If you don't know who he is, go check him out. He's amazing. He influenced so many players and he's such a unique individual. You'll recognize his playing immediately when you know it uh, from just hearing him. So first on our techniques today I want to look at of Roy Buchanan's is pick blocking. Pick blocking is an awesome technique where you use the pick to stop the notes from ringing, not your left hand. So let's take a quick a closer look down here on my right hand and when I'm on say the G string, let's say if I go up here to the 12th fret G string, I'm going to pluck that note but I'm going to stop it with my pick on the way up after I went down. Let me try that again. So I go down and stop on the way up. Then I go up and stop on the way down. Repeat that. Both of them. That technique is awesome. That is one of my favorite things that just made me sound so good. No one ever taught me that. I just learned it over time and Roy was definitely a catalyst for that idea. So when Roy plays this, it helps him be percussive. So he might even just do something like... Some of them are ghost notes. Some of those are dead, I mean like dead notes. And some are notes. But all of it's pick blocking. He did a great job pick blocking with bends. So say if I'm here on uh, the 11th fret. Really expressive, very tight. Um, it doesn't give any sense of loose, sloppy playing at all. Now right there, that brings me to the number two technique that Roy did. He called them screamers, I think. I call them pinch harmonics, artificial harmonics. Um, we also know that Billy Gibbons and ZZ Top is known for these things, but a lot of rock guitar players play these things. I first came across Eddie Van Halen do it, and I didn't know what he was doing. So let's take a little closer look at what pinch harmonics or artificial harmonics are. Uh, for me, this technique works. Um, let's say if I'm down here on the second fret of the G string, that note, for whatever reason, seems to jump out the easiest to make these ideas happen. So I'm going to go right here about the, right over the neck pickup. I do use the bridge pickup. You want a bright tone. You want a little bit of overdrive on your sound. Uh, that helps the uh, harmonic happen. Uh, and also, the artificial harmonics don't happen very well on the thin strings. So the G string is a great ch uh, choice to start with this on. So the idea would be is you're going to use the, the skin on the side of your thumb to touch the string. So you're going to pick the string and then use the skin to touch it a little bit and it activates our harmonic. Sounds kind of weird like they're separating it. But you can now hear the harmonic actually changing. So the harmonic has to do with the length of the string on either side of where you're picking. Um, in ZZ Top you often hear the guy searching for those notes. You can even hear it following the overtone series. It's actually following like the notes of a chord. It's kind of cool. Um, so you use them very liberally though. Don't think about that stuff too much uh, unless you want to get really heady into it. Um, they're very ornamentational. I make up words, don't forget. So you might just be playing a... So they're a little unpredictable, they're a little unstable, and you hear people kind of hitting them and they don't quite take off, and sometimes you hear play people hit them and they're magic. Roy used these all the time and I think he called them screamers. Lastly, on the third technique that Roy does that I love, um, I don't have a name for these things, you can call them flams, um, which are a little, uh, drummers think of flams as a brrrp, a little kind of couple of notes before the note. So Roy would do this, I'm just going to go to my neck pickup. Roy would do this with a pick and fingers. So he was one of the earlier hybrid pickers that I got aware of. So these little flams that Roy would do, uh, let's say if I'm on the 10th fret of the first string, he would palm or mute the string either with the left hand or the right hand and get two muted notes. And then use the first finger to pluck a note. So you get like a couple hits and a note. I'm hitting three or two, it kind of changed a little bit. 
So if I did that, let's say over between the 10th and the 12th frets, So it's a little bit of this hand kind of draping across the strings, my, my left hand fretboard hand, and a little bit of the back of the palm of my right hand. So therefore, you can just kind of follow any scale. So say if I'm right here on the 10th fret, pattern one of the pentatonics. Of course, on the thicker strings, you don't have really much to work with for this technique. Um, so often you'll probably just reserve it to the top strings. So those are three awesome techniques of Roy Buchanan. Again, if you don't know his stuff, check him out. He's awesome. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. This is Lead Guitar Workshop. Please hit the subscribe button. We're going to have new stuff every week, new backing tracks, new lessons, ideas. Let me know what you want to hear about.